Joining me now is Heritage Foundation senior writer Kelsey Bollard. Great to see you, Kelsey. Good evening. You know, it's not the first time Nancy's called out AOC, but this time and the other members of the of the hard left. What was your take when you saw last night? What was your first reaction? It's interesting to see Nancy Pelosi claim victory here, claim like there's any sort of accomplishments in the House that Democrats can account for, when really the only accomplishment that they have achieved thus far is successfully avoiding any real policy conversation in this country. Uh, we, of course, have a massive crisis on the border. Uh, Democrats refuse to engage with the president or any Republicans to come up with a solution to fix this, and we know Congress is the only body that can actually make a meaningful difference on these issues and add to that the, the fact that she couldn't even uh, get her get her caucus to support a spending bill uh, just the other week, week really suggests that Nancy Pelosi does not have control over the Democrats in Congress like she claims to. Well, she said to AOC, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez, you need, you know, votes, not just Twitter followers. Uh, Pelosi knows the Democrats need to be more moderate if they want to win in 2020. I think that Democrats lost about a dozen races when they when there was a, a hard left person who running and the, the Democrats won the House because of the 40 or so seats won by the moderates in districts that Trump won. I mean, it's clear. The message is clear here, right? Absolutely. Here we have to give Nancy Pelosi credit because she is right that in saying that the typical Democrat voter is not nearly as extreme as these Democrat socialists like AOC. Uh, the New York Times actually reported on some really interesting data that came out saying basically what you see on social media, believe it or not, uh, from people on the left is not reflective of the average Democrat. They are far more moderate. But the problem for Nancy Pelosi is that it is the Alexander Andrew Ocasio Cortez's who are eating up all the immediate all the media Kelsey, attention. Stay on that. Stay on that point for just a second. Is this a media manufactured problem? Have they created the rise of the hard left when it's just there on social media and the voters out there are saying, wait a second, we're not interested in their policies? Is this a media manufactured thing because the media is reacting reacting to their social media followers, but that goes it's evanescent when you look at how the voters are reacting to them. Absolutely. I think the media plays a large role in this in lifting up these voices that, again, are not representative of mainstream Democrats. Uh, and this is not only a problem now for Nancy Pelosi in trying to accomplish anything and look for Republicans. We all as a country want to address things like the border crisis. But of course, this is going to be a problem in 2020 because it is these more extreme uh, socialist figures like Bernie Sanders now uh, getting all the attention from the media when really that's that's it's not representative of the main Democrat base. Kelsey, great to have you on. Come back soon. Thank you, Liz. Good stuff.